Hello friends and happy Monday. Welcome, welcome to Craft With Us. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brittany and I'm the head of children's here at the Winchester Public Library. But most everybody just calls me Miss B. Not because we're formal in any way, just because it's easier to say. All right, so for those of you who picked up our craft bags this morning, you know we are painting with tissue paper. I know, it sounds kind of bananas, but don't you worry, it's gonna be super fun. This might be one of my most favorite things because as you, you'll see, you can do whatever you want. It's really great. And if you didn't, depending on what, if you didn't grab a craft bag, depending on what you have around the house, this might be super easy to put together or it might be one that you bookmark for later. Um, so I'll go through the steps and I'll go through what the bag had and then we'll go from there. All right, so, and before I forget, um, I forgot to tell you that with your paintbrush, you'll need a cup or a bowl of water. So while I'm going through the list of things we're going to need, the materials list for our friends who didn't grab a bag, anyone who's ready to craft along with me, just grab yourself a cup of water or maybe ask your grown-up to help you because you'll need some water to dip your paintbrush in. Not too much, just a little bit, but we will need some water in a bowl or a cup. All right, so we will be working with cardstock and we'll be using different colors of tissue paper. You should have gotten a big handful of tissue paper and then you'll need a paintbrush and a white crayon. All right, that's what you'll need. So if you've got a lot of crafty stuff lying around, then you're probably all set. If you don't, it's not that hard. You can get most of this stuff um, at any craft supply, any grocery, any store, Target, something like that. Um, super easy to grab. Um, and you can use any kind of paper. You can use printer paper if you want, um, but cardstock, because we're gonna get it wet, um, it's nice if it has a little bit of heft to it, not so, so fluxy. But again, you can try a bunch of different things out and see what works for you. All right, so let's get started. And you'll see when you go through the instructions, I cut up some of my tissue paper, so you might need some scissors or you might wanna leave it whole. Totally up to you, your choice, okay? So, the fun part. You get your white crayon and your white piece of paper and you draw whatever you want. Whatever it is that you want. If you just wanna do squiggles, you do squiggles. If you wanna write a secret message, do that. If you wanna draw a whole picture, you can do that too. And you're gonna be drawing with white on white, so you're not really gonna be able to see it. But if you hold it up to the light, you might kinda of see the crayon outline, but that's the whole point. You'll see what I mean at the end. So take a crayon and do whatever it is that you wanna do. Whatever it is, a design, a drawing, something, close your eyes and squiggle your crayon and see what happens. It's totally up to you, okay? I'm gonna try something. And you'll see what I mean. You can kinda see. and then you want to kind of brush off whoop miss b is dropping stuff all over the place all right you can kind of see a little bit i did a bunch of abstract designs but you're not going to be able to see it very well and that's okay if you got a little excessive with your crayon like i did you just want to wipe off the extra and then put your crayon down okay make sure you have everything you want on your paper because once we get it wet it's going to be really hard to add to your design but you can do this many different times because you probably won't use all of your tissue paper and you definitely have some crayon left. So if you like this, just get yourself some cardstock and you can make a whole bunch of pictures like this. All right, so now we want to take our cup or our bowl of water and our paintbrush and we want to just get our paper a little bit wet so the tissue paper will stick on it, okay? Now, my advice when it comes to painting or putting water or anything like that is you can always add, but you can't subtract. So if you put a little bit of water on and then you feel like, well, I didn't do quite enough, it's gonna be a lot easier to go add a little more water it is than it is to sop up a ton of water on your paper. So just easy does it, just a little bit, 
just try to cover as much as you can. Again, everything's white and clear, so it's gonna be kinda hard to figure out, but just do your best. And once it's mostly wet, you can put your paintbrush in your water aside. We'll need that again later. And then you get your tissue paper. And again, it's up to you. You do whatever you want. If you wanna do them in a row, if you wanna do all of your purples or your greens or your blues or whatever colors you have on one section, or if you just wanna start putting them down totally randomly, that's okay too. If you wanna cover the whole paper, that's okay. If you wanna leave some spots that are not covered, you can do that too. Your choice. All right. And again, keep your paintbrush handy. So if you want to add some more water as you go, things aren't quite sticking the way you wanted, you can always add some more, just like that. A little more water as we stick. All right, and once you get everything down, all right, hello friends joining us. So I'll show you, see so far, we've drawn on our paper with white crayon, we've gotten it wet, and now we're putting our tissue down. And it can be as specific or as random as you want. Totally your choice. All right. And you can cover the whole paper or just some of it. Also, your choice. Whatever you want. Miss B loves art like this. Art where everybody gets to do exactly what they want to do. Everything looks a little different because everyone designed theirs differently. Okay. Whoopsie. The water's drying. I'm gonna go back with a little more. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm gonna do just a few more, and then we do another Ooh, these are my big ones. All right, I'm gonna put this down. And then what we do is we do another round of water. All right, so get your paintbrush and your water again. And then we're gonna do more water over everything. Pretend like it's glue. Just try to get it to lay down nice and flat, okay? And again, you can always add more but it's gonna be a little hard to get all that, whoops, all that water up if you just get one big sploosh of water in the center of your paper. Okay, you can always go back and add more. All right, and it's not really supposed to stick. So if they slide around a little bit, that's okay. The whole point of this is that tissue paper is so thin and it's the color comes off so easily. Even if you touched it right now, it would probably come off on your finger a little bit. The whole point is that we're trying to get the tissue paper, the color from the tissue paper to soak in to our cardstock paper. And so, so this is what mine looks like but you can't really see the design yet because you can see even as I move it up and down to the screen, you can see that it's still wet, it's dry. So the best thing to do is to let it dry as much as you can before you peel off all of your squares because that's gonna be where you're gonna get the most color, the most pigment is gonna come out of the tissue paper and bleed onto the white paper. So while we're letting it dry, um, I will remind everybody that craft kits go out every Monday at 9 a.m. right on the parking lot side door. They're usually on a blue cart and they are first come first serve. There's usually about 50 to 60 kits so you can come and take uh, what you want so that you can craft at home along with us or by yourself. Craft with us will run through August. So when August is over, this program will end and we'll have some fun September programs going on. And then hopefully in October, for those of you who have been around, our children's room will be ready and we'll be open for business in the children's room, um, hopefully in the middle of October, sometime before Halloween. So couple more months to wait for that but just so that you know craft with us will be coming to a close at the end of summer but we have all of August and I've got some really fun things planned for you so stay tuned for those 
Um, and then you can check out winpublib.org slash events for all of the great stuff we have coming up. We're doing fun Friday story times outside, weather permitting, of course, on the 20th and 27th of August. We also have our preschool story time at 11 o'clock on Zoom every Tuesday. All right. So it's still a little bit wet, but let's see if I can't peel one off and you can see some of the purple. Well, you can at least see the drawing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. See, can you see? It's still drawing. Can you see some of the green is starting to come off right here? I don't wanna peel it off because it'll look so cool. What I'll do, friends, is when it dries and I peel everything off, let's see the red. Yep, and you can see some of the red is starting to come off too, right there. I'll take a picture and post it on our Instagram when everything's dry. You wanna let it get nice and dry. And you can always add more water. But this one, again, Miss B's favorite word, right? Patience. We just gotta set it aside. Maybe go outside a little bit. I know it's a little hot, but go outside, run around, or maybe read a book, huh? Read a book and then it should be all done and soaked through. And you can always add more water if you want it to soak through a little bit more. But this is what it looks like right now. You can see it's still wet, so it's still soaking through. All right, so stay tuned for the finished product, my friends. But this is what it looks like until it dries. So we just set it aside and we be patient, right? Sometimes it's hard, it's hard to wait, right? Sometimes it's hard to wait, but good thing comes to those who wait, right friends? All right, so we'll see what happens when it dries. You wanna let the paper dry, you wanna let everything dry. You can kinda of see it poking through the back a little bit there. Oh, I see some green, I see some red. Whoop, kinda of cool. All right, friends. And if you like how this turns out, you can do this a bunch of different times. You can make all kinds of pictures like this. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me today on Craft With Us. I will see everyone back here next Monday at three o'clock for another fun and fabulous craft. But until then, my friends, ooh, I need my, be safe, be kind, wash your hands, and wear your mask. I'll see everyone next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye.